Oh yeah. What your school crush says about you. The nerd. You always thought glasses were cute. You find that A-plus even cuter. The new person. You got bored of everyone else in class, and you end up doing this about new students a lot. The quiet person. Your attempts at talking to them haven't been very successful. The athlete. You watch every game of theirs, but not for the sports. The cheerleader. You're an athlete. The alt girl. All your friends are telling you to run, but you gotta find out the hard way. Your best friend. It's almost definitely one-sided. I'm sorry. The popular person. Let's just say you're not the only one who has a crush on them. The class clown. You like someone who can make you smile, even if it means they get sent to the principal's office multiple times a week. The musician. You're imagining them doing a private concert for you. The drama kid. You admire the confidence, but there's a chance that confidence is actually on awareness. The one you took to prom. I mean, if you didn't like who you're going to prom with, that would be kind of sad. The troublemaker. You're a troublemaker yourself, or a goody two-shoes who has a secret bad side. Someone who goes to another school. Most of your friends don't believe your crush is even real. The boy or girl on Zoom. You never would have confessed in real life, but with the pandemic and Zoom and everything, you took your chance sliding into DMs. The artist. You have mental issues, and your crush has mental issues. The bully. You think you're in a Wattpad story. No, you're just crazy. The person you bully. You end up bullying them because you're afraid of admitting that you like them. The casual friend. You never actually wanted to just be friends. You've been planning it all out like an evil genius. The teacher's pet. You don't exist. The dumb one. You're smarter and see someone you think you can manipulate easily. The one who's always late. You're always waiting for them to show up, and when they do, it makes your day. The person who you worked on a project with. You didn't get anything done in the group project. You were too busy staring. The one with the best fit. It's all fun and games until you actually find out the person's personality behind the cool outfit. The band kid. You really do have interesting taste. A stalker. Unlike most people who'd be creeped out, you're just happy at the fact someone likes you enough to stalk you. A mean girl. You think you can fix her and she's actually sweet inside. She's not, bro. This ain't a soon today. The geek. You swear they're cooler than the nerds, but the average person doesn't see a difference between the two. The bookworm. Your ideal date would be at the library or a bookstore. You probably have a cat too. The gamer. You've been gaming since you were young, so having a partner who also plays is a requirement. The gamer girl. You were already a simp, but when you heard she played FPS games, you reached a new level of down bad. The weeb. Well, normal people would imagine going to a fancy restaurant together. You imagine cosplaying and drinking boba tea together. The outcast. You created a whole story about their personality, but in reality, they just suck socially. The tomboy. You don't want a girl who calls you bae. You want a girl who calls you bro. The depressed person. You think you can make them happy, but all that's going to happen is you're going to get sad. The overachiever. You want them to overachieve for your heart, but you're pretty low on the priority list. The rich kid. You're either a gold digger or a... Yeah, actually, that's it. You're just a gold digger. Skater. There's a chance you don't even skate. You just think it looks cool. The religious person. You pray for your crush daily. That's actually really wholesome. The tweaker. You're also a tweaker, and you just want to score an easy plug. The teacher. You're a stupid elementary kid who doesn't know any better. Your student. You're about to go from the classroom to prison. Unless you're a college teacher, then you're just weird. The janitor. Okay, I actually don't know what's going on with you. The principal. And there's a reason you always get sent to the principal's office. Multiple people. You act like you hate love triangles and drama, but it's your guilty pleasure. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what your crush at school is. If you have one, maybe you don't. That's very possible. Of course, everything I said was a joke. It's just a meme, so I'm sorry if I said something that hurt your feelings. Comment who your crush is down below. As always, my name's Envy Perry, and I'll see you in the next video.